Now, what we did so far was I, uh, I put on the board a very basic model of positive and negative forces. And uh, what I had in the back of my mind was a contemporary example, uh, namely Iraq. Uh, here's people, they don't have democracy. We want them to have democracy, or that's what ancient Greek history writers would call a prophasis. That's what we tell people is what is that we want. But let's take it on face value. We want them to have democracy. So we go and, you know, bomb them a lot and uh, <laughs> you know, that'll give them democracy. And uh, there's actually a statement by a high-ranking military officer who was charged of a large district of Iraq who actually said, with large enough doses of violence and terror and enough money for projects, I think we can convince these people that we're here to help them. And I guess you could not have a clearer expression of the worldview which the, those of us who adopt the nonviolence worldview do not believe in. If you're looking for a really clear criterion that would set the two things apart, and now I'm going to use the term that's very commonly used throughout the field. If you're okay with violence, then you believe that you can bring about positive ends with negative means. If you believe in nonviolence, then you say that is absolutely impossible. The ends and means have their own inner dynamic and you cannot possibly use negative means to bring about a positive end. You cannot use cruise missiles and 500-pound bombs, which are essentially destructive. And don't just take my word for it, because we, uh, we had the head of air military science in here. He, he started off his talk by saying, I'm going to tell you what we do in the Air Force. He says, we blow stuff up. Now that's essentially a destructive activity. So, I mean, they wouldn't disagree that it's a destructive activity, but they, w they believe that you can use destructive mechanisms to get to a constructive end. Whereas and those of us who at least provisionally are willing to accept the framework th of nonviolence, we don't believe that that is possible. Conversely, we do believe that if you use constructive means, you will have a constructive end, though it may not be exactly the one that you were aiming at. And that's a very important principle – 